Hello everyone. To use Google Wallet, it's easy. Uh, the first thing you do is you go to your Play Store. You go to the top right where you have your profile. You go to Payment and Subscription. Then you go to Payment Method. Now under Payment Methods, you will see like two options. We have Add Credit Card or Debit Card Add Nine Pin Bill. Nine Pin Bill is another tutorial in case you're interested. That one is using your Etisalat line to load your e-wallet. That is a Google Wallet. But right now, for this tutorial, it will be um, adding credit or debit card. So once you click on Add Credit or Debit Card, it will ask you for your credit card details. So if you notice on my own, at the top, I have um, Visa. So now the thing is, um, it depends on your bank. So if you're using GT Bank, Zenith Bank, UBA, Access, Diamond Access or Access, yeah, those are the ones I've tested it on and it's working. But for Diamond Access or Access Bank, it's a little bit complicated. So like, if you're going to use Visa, not for GT card, but if you're going to use Visa card for, and you're banking with Access Bank, you need to ask them like for more details, you know, cause there's this kind of e-pin also you need whenever you're doing online transaction. Okay, so, but for this tutorial, if you're going to, if you have UBA, GT Bank, or Zenith Bank, you could use your G, your MasterCard or your Visa card. So for my own, I used my Visa card. So once you've done, once you've verified your card and your card is on your Google Store or Google Play account, uh, the next thing you do is um, you go back to Vigo. Yeah, so over there you see Google Wallet, right? So it's simple. Once you just click the amount you want to pay for. So remember, you need to load your account and make sure your credit card or your debit card is connected to your account. You click on the option you want. So let's say I click on 42 diamonds for 396. So this pops up here. So immediately pops up. Remember the card you inserted in your Google Play account. This is it over here. So once you click on buy, it will ask you to insert your Gmail password now there's one thing you should remember when you're inserting a gmail password it asks you do you want to save say no don't save a gmail password to avoid unnecessary debits or transactions on your account you get so once you put it it verifies and boom you are done it verifies in under 10 seconds and your payment is done your big old wallet will be credited with the amount you chose it's as easy as that yeah but remember do not save your password once you type in your password, if I click on buy, it will say, uh, do you want to save your password? Say no, as in, or there's a small box where it asks you tick here to save. Don't tick it. Always type your password whenever you want to do a transaction. Yeah, thank you.